shaking so much. I hope this is not an earthquake. <sighs> Thank God it has stopped shaking. Have you ever experienced an earthquake? Do you know what an earthquake is? An earthquake is a sudden shaking or trembling of the earth and it lasts for a very short time. Earthquakes are caused by disturbances deep inside the earth's crust. The crust, which is the earth's outermost layer, is divided into several huge plates called tectonic plates. These plates glide over the mantle and the outer core. These plates move very slowly but continuously. When these plates brush past one another or collide with each other, they cause disturbances in the earth's crust. Such disturbances show up as an earthquake on the surface of the earth. The boundaries of these plates are the weak zones. These are where earthquakes occur the most. These weak zones are called seismic or fault zones. The place inside the earth's crust where the earthquake begins is called the hypocenter. The position directly above the hypocenter on the surface of the earth is called the epicenter. The power or the strength of the earthquake is expressed in magnitudes and is measured using the Richter scale. The shaking or tremors of the earth produce waves on the surface of the earth called seismic waves. These waves are recorded with the help of a seismograph. Earthquakes occur all the time, but they are so minor that they are not even noticed. Major earthquakes are less frequent, but they cause a lot of structural damage to buildings, bridges, highways and dams. There is a major loss of life and property. Earthquakes cannot be predicted, but since they are highly destructive, it is important that we are always ready to protect ourselves. Some tips that can be used to protect ourselves in case you are caught in an earthquake are the drop cover and hold strategy. You need to drop to the floor and cover yourself under a table and hold on to it very tightly. Make sure you stay away from heavy objects. Remember to protect your head at all times. If you are outdoors, make sure that you go to an open ground where there are no buildings, trees or overhead power lines. Well, the shaking that I experienced earlier was not an earthquake. It was just the digging of the foundation of the new building that is coming up in the neighborhood. I think they have dug the ground so deep that it's producing strong vibrations. So much that it's affecting the foundation of my building. I need to go and register a complaint now. See you later.